Being chosen as mahasiswa berprestasi is like being a like that will brighten the pathway for others and will give an impact for the society. I believe through the pemilihan mahasiswa berprestasi political scheme case national 2020, it can contribute more to my institution as well as to the society. Hello Indonesia, my name is Damas Pratista, mahasiswa berprestasi Politeknik Kesehatan Kementerian Kesehatan Jakarta II as the representative for pemilihan mahasiswa berprestasi Politeknik Kemenkes Nasional 2020. I am currently studying Nutrition of Science as a second year student. I like to study about developing food formulas that can overcome public health problems. I'm also interested in research. By performing a research, we have the opportunity to make a change in the future of nutritionists into a better and healthier future for everyone. To develop myself, I participated in various competitions such as First, in 2019, the second winner of National Essay Competition held by the Environmental Health Student Association of the Faculty of Public Health Universitas Indonesia. Second, the third winner of National Scientific Writing Contest in Sahid Nutrition Science Competition held by Universitas Sahid. Third, the five best of National Essay Level in Management Fire Event held by Universitas Krishna Dwi Payana. I am also active in various organizations to develop my leadership. First, as a member of the research sub department in Badan Executive Mahasiswa Jurusan Gizi, Politeknik Kemenkes Jakarta II, one of the programs called Pengabdian Masyarakat that aiming to educate public about nutritional issues such as anemia, stunting, malnutrition, and how to apply balanced nutrition. I believe it will contribute to create Indonesian golden generation. And I was trusted as the chief in a program called Training of Leadership, addressed to build the leadership of freshmen in nutrition department. We also have a national health seminar as our annual program. And beside that, I was also a speaker at Isai Writing Seminar. Secondly, I also a part of OSTI in nutrition department as coordinator of CR Islam department. And here, I would like to share my idea in Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2020 with the title is The Development of Iron Rich Snack Bar from Catfish, Corn, and Raja Banana for Langsa as an alternative to combat anemia. Anemia is one of the health problems in the world, especially in developing countries including Indonesia. The high risk group that highly affected by anemia are women of childbearing age, including adolescent girl, pregnant woman, and lactating woman. The danger of anemia in adolescent girl, if untreated, is it will continue till adulthood and contribute to the higher of maternal mortality, premature births, and low births weight babies. According to the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Indonesia in 2013, the total anemia in adolescent girls was 25% and in women of childbearing age was 17%, which has an impact on the high number of anemia in pregnant women was 37.1% and an increase in 2018 was 48.9%. Therefore, anemia in adolescent girls must be overcome and related to the second and third goals of the SDGs 2030, namely improving the nutrition of adolescent girls and reducing maternal and infant mortality. One of the causes of anemia is low intake of iron, especially hem iron rich food that come from animal protein. One of hem iron source food is catfish. Catfish is rich of iron, easy to find in ordinary markets and relative cheap. Compared to other animal food, corn and raja banana are food with high beta-carotene as source food 
as pro vitamin A and also a source of energy. The use catfish, corn, and raja banana are potential ingredients to contribute a healthy snack food that is mostly by all social status. The utilization of this food is also support food diversification program and it can be an alternative solution for combating anemia among vulnerable groups including adolescent girls. Therefore, the study aims to create the snack bar made from catfish, corn, and raja banana which is rich of iron and accepted by adolescent girls. The study developed several formulas. The formula used in this study consisted of five formulas with the ratio of catfish flour, corn flour, and raja banana flour as first 20%, 20%, and 60%, second 30%, 25%, and 45%, third 40%, 30%, and 30%, fourth 50%, 35% and 15% Fifth, 55%, 40% .5 and 5% The results show that among this formula, the Langsa snack bar product with the second formula of 30%, 25%, 45% is the most preferable by adolescent girls as panelist stroke or gonoleptic test. The color of this product is yellowish brown color, non fishy aroma, non hard texture, and has a sweet taste. Catfish flour is the main ingredient in making snack bar and a source of protein and iron. Corn and banana is the main ingredient for making snack bar and as energy source and beta carotene as pro vitamin A. Rice flour as a source of energy and a stabilizer for the texture of the snack bar. Margarine as a source of fat in snack bar and as a shortening because it can improve the structure of the dough. Palm sugar in the process of making a snack bar other than as a sweet test also serves to improve texture and give color to the surface of the snack bar. Honey will give a sweet taste to the snack bar. Besides that, honey as a binding material for other ingredients. Put in 30 gram catfish flour, 25 gram corn flour, and 35 gram raja banana flour, and add 30 gram of rice flour, then stir until all ingredients are mixed evenly. Total 10 gram margarine, add 50 gram honey, and 20 gram palm sugar, then stir until evenly distributed. Mix the two doughs and then put on a baking sheet and bake a temperature of 150 Celsius for 20 minutes. After the snack bar is cooked, then remove from the cake mold and then snack bar is ready to be served and packaged. The recommended consumption of Langsa snack bar product as much as 2 servings per day. The selected snack bar product is able recommended dietary allowances of adolescent girls per day as much as 16% energy, 20% protein, 10% fat, 20% carbohydrates, 32% iron, and 49% beta-carotene.